Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you the next episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Um, we left off last week, we were going to talk to Hulas here, the sh shady Rodian, about the Geno Genome Hardan, I think is how you pronounce it. The, like, underworld bounty hunter crime syndicate that we're kind of becoming a part of, even though it's dark side and we're light side, but who cares, that's a game, we're going to have fun with it. Welcome back, Mobius. I see you have come alone. This is good. I assume you were here to discuss the business of the Gino Haradan. Uh, Zulon Centaur is dead. Yes, Mobius, I'm aware of this. Our agents have been keeping a close eye on you, though I doubt you saw them. They were there when Zulon met his untimely end. And as promised, here is your reward for the task. A blaster developed exclusively for the use of those within our guild. It will serve you well, I am sure. This assignment is only beginning, Mobius. A small test, which I am pleased to say you passed, but now for a more difficult challenge awaits you. There are three targets that the G Gino Haradan want you to remove. If you can eliminate all three, then you will gain full membership in our ancient guild. The first is a G uh, Gamorian named Vorn Dasran, Disrod. The second is a shapeshifter called Rulon Prolik. The third is a cell calf known as Ithrak Guldar. All right, tell me about Vorn Dasrad. Vorn is a freelance bounty hunter. He's very, very good, but he's a bit too sadistic for our tastes. He likes to sacrifice an efficient kill for the pleasure of watching his victims suffer. The Gino Haradan will tolerate a certain amount of competition, but Vorn has become too dangerous. You'll be surprised at how much political damage one rogue assassin can inflict. Vorn was last seen on Tatooine. We suspect he's taking a break from hunting sentience by going after a crate dragon. We don't want him to leave the Dune Sea alive. Okay, I'll find Vorn and bring him down. Just be careful when you face off against him. Vorn doesn't travel alone. He always, he's always got his assault droid close at hand. The two of them make a formidable pair. So I wonder, actually, now that he's talking about assault droids, I wonder if I had HK with me, if if that would cause any issues. Because I'm supposed to talk to this guy only when I'm alone, but I wonder if that includes HK. Because I'm sure he would like this, mindlessly killing people. Uh, tell me about Rulon Prolik. We don't know much about Rulon, except that he's some kind of shapeshifter. We don't even know if it's a natural ability or the result of some powerful alien technology. But we suspect he's behind several prominent assassinations on the Outer Rim. The Gino Haradan are worried he might decide to move his operations closer to the Galactic Core. With his ability to assume virtually any form, he could wreak havoc in the Galactic Senate. We aren't about to let that happen. So how do I find someone who could look like anyone? Finding Rulon won't be easy, but we have reports he may be on Kashyyyk. He's probably honing his skills by hunting the dangerous creatures in the Shadowlands. Tell me about Ethorak Guldar. Ethorak isn't violent like Rulon or Vorn, but in many ways he's far more dangerous. He's a con artist and blackmailer who's taken millions of credits from the rich and powerful families. Uh, he also deals in secrets and information, and these and these can be far more deadly than any blaster. But Ithrak is careful. We know he's somewhere here on Manon, but we don't know where. All we know is how to contact him. There's a Twi'lek named Vec at the Manon swoop track. He can set up a meeting between you and Ithrak. Alright. Why would Vex set up a meeting between us? Etherak poses a, as a merchant of rare antiquities. It is the perfect cover for his real work. It gives him access to the rich, to rich and powerful families without drawing suspicion. You'll have to convince Vex that you represent a buyer interested in purchasing some rare art from Etherak. Convince Vex, and he'll set up a meeting. The meeting is your one chance to take Etherak out, but be careful. He'll choose the time and place, and he's not going to leave himself vulnerable. Is there anything else? Just a warning, Mobius, these assignments I've given you are far more difficult than the simple bounties I give you your first test. Complete all three missions and you will have proven yourself to be truly worthy of joining the Geno Haradan. As before, you will be well rewarded for each mission or each successful bounty. You can return to me after each mission to collect your reward. Is there anything else? No. I'll be waiting for you here. Alright. So we have a lot to do. <laughs> To say the least. I mean, it, to do all these bounties involves a lot of traveling. And, um... We haven't even... We haven't even started doing swoop yet. The Manon swoop track. I completely forgot about it. So... Let's go this way. I don't even know where it is. I'll do east. Wasn't the... Wasn't the Sith Embassy over here? Yeah, see, there's a whole area over here that we haven't explored yet. 
swoop fan. We must be going in the right direction. It's gotta be right here. Nope, that's a cleaning droid. Ah, uh, right. Swoop registration. Okay. We're gonna save our game. Let's do the swoop part first because I'm sure we can knock that out of the way. There's a ton of people to talk to in here. Zena? No, okay. Hello there. You probably want to talk up to the professional racers. They are in the racers' lounge, the room just to the east. They don't usually associate with amateur racers like me. I'll probably be giving up soon anyway. Very sad, just answer my questions. Alright, but there's no need to be so rude. I wasn't rude. Wanna ask about you and racing? Me? No one is interested in me. I'm just Queedle Molto, one of many failing amateur swoop racers. Uh, how long have you been at this? Not long, but I don't know how much more time I'll be putting in. I think I've gone as far as I can go. What do you mean by that? I'm not getting any better out there. I race hard, and I think I have good skills, but I just can't afford to keep up with the professionals. Their swoop bikes are modified with the best equipment. There is only so much you can do with a borrowed toolkit and standard parts. I can't afford to make this my life. I want to keep going, but without money, you don't win. And if you don't win, you don't get money. How much do you think you need? It's not your problem to worry about. I shouldn't even be bothering you with this. The 500 credits I need is my problem, not yours. Uh, wow. I wonder what I get for this. You're just giving me 500 credits just like that? I don't know what to say. I'd have to save for months to get anywhere near that much. Thank you. I mean it. I'll get them working on my super array. Maybe I can improve my round one time after all. Come back to East Otto in a day or so after the changes are made. I hope it helps. Maybe I'm just not good enough. I guess we'll see. Alright, all right, good. Let's hit points. I guess it was worth it. Hello there. Are you looking to book a swoop course for a practice run? There will be a small uh, positioning fee of 20 credits to have your swoop bike readied. Uh, okay. I want an officially timed race. Please speak to the course regulator for information on challenging the current leaders in the race. Okay, fine. I'm not doing a practice run. Greetings to you off-worlder. Are you here as a spectator or will you be entering the swoop field as a contender? I am interested in racing. I'm sure you are. We welcome all racers, regardless of professional status. We are trying to maintain a full field of competitors. Of course, with the destruction in Terrace, we're in a bit of a rebuilding phase. Our sector champion was one of the casualties there. Uh... I have raced on Tatooine. Perhaps you have, but it's not a recognized circuit track. Mod of the Hut is not a respected promoter, no matter what he says. He has also altered the payment structure set up for the swoop circuit. Of course, most of the governing circuit organization was lost on Terrors. You are welcome to prove your skill here, regardless of experience. The course is open to any that have the means to participate. 100 credits must be paid for each officially timed attempt that you make. This amount will be due before each race. Fine, I'm ready to race. Very well, but before we place your swoop on the starting position, I must collect the 100 credit fee. Uh, uh, persuade. Lowering the fee would encourage new racers. Success! I would tend to agree. We already have a number of racers that are struggling. I will drop the fee to 50 credits. Fine. I, I mean, I could force persuade, but it's not worth it. 50 credits is nothing. Very good, Offworlder. Now I must determine what time you'll be trying to beat. Let's have a look at the standings. Quiddle is a local favorite. Wait, what? Oh. But this won't be much of a race. His swoop simply isn't professional quality. Time to beat 2382. Alright. I can do that. The non swoop razor fans, we have a race about to commence. Show your respect as the newcomer challenges Queedle for round one placing. So, oh wow, all right, here we go. Fast enough. No. Huh. <laughs> Was he constipated? Yeah. 
That was unfortunate. Your performance just now was not of very high quality. You will need to improve. Alright, let's do it again. Wait, what? Why is it 100 credits? No. Ugh. I don't... I don't understand. I thought we reduced it to 50. Oh, I hit the same thing. I got basically the same time. Oh, I'm gonna be broke at this rate. Yes, boo boo. I can't skip this. Alright, come on. That's a good time. <laughs> Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Winners of the first round are paid 500 credits. It's enough to cover your expenses, but you'll have to keep racing to really make it pay. We'll record this for future reference and wish you well on your attempt to reach Sector Champion. Alright, so I have to do it again. 2250. Alright, it gotta be 2250. Oh, so close! Oh, if I didn't hit that, I was just, I was so set up for that. Ah. Oh. The fact that you have to sit through this cutscene is just is like punishment enough. All right, we can do this. What? What? 2260? No! Oh. Okay, one more try. Yes! Could better have been the last one.
second round win is worth 2,000 credits to you. Many racers bow out when they reach this level, but I have a feeling you won't. What? There's another one? This will determine sector champion. Alright, fine. What's the time? 22.48. Oh, wait a minute. I just got 22.47. Wow. My 100th of a second? I already, I already beat that time, though. Shouldn't I just win by default? I still beat it! I hit that debris right at the end, but I still won. Wait, what? What was my time? 20... 20... 2.54? What was, I, what was the time I was supposed to beat? 22.50... Did I really just lose by one hundredth of a second? Hold on. 22.50... Oh no, 48, okay. So I lost by like... Less than a tenth of a second. of a second. If I'd hit one more pad, I'd have had it. This is gonna be this whole episode. I want a million credits. And... A blue milk. <laughs> Greetings, Sector Champion. You have proven to be a spectacular racer, even defeating Queedle's improved time. You have won a great deal of money. The payment for becoming Sector Champion is 5,000 credits. That will be the last amount offered for now. When we begin a new round of races, we will make certain you are notified. Alright. Alrighty. Alrighty, let's talk to Queedle. <coughs> Greetings to you, Sector Champion. That was an amazing time you turned in. The best I've seen on this track. Before I go any further, though, I have to return the money you gave me. The prize I won covered most of it. Uh, you keep it. Use it for more upgrades. Thanks, but no, I won't need it. I'll do alright now that I have a chance. Alright, that was it. Cool, so I got the 500 back. And more light side points, baby. Swoop razors only. Guess what? I'm the Sector Champion. What's this? Swoop Records panel? Oh. Show personal results. Queedle. Is there some... There's probably a way. There's probably a way that we're, we're gonna have to, like, modify these or something? What do you want? I don't waste time with fans. So if this is about an auto print, forget it. You can buy one when I get more made up. Wait, no. You're the new sector champion, aren't you? You're really cutting into my profits. What do you want? Uh, just want to ask you some questions? We'll get it over with. Of course you do. Everyone wants time with the fabulous Cassandra Matil. There just isn't enough of me to go around. Do I really care about this? Can you tell me about the other racers? I don't need to tell you anything. You've beat us all. We're just looking for an excuse to gloat. Alright. Yes, yes. No, I... What? No, whoa, I didn't mean that. 
That's good. Don't hurry back. I don't really don't care. I don't, I'm not even gonna talk to him. I don't think there's anything left to do here, other than this guy, Vec. Because I'm gonna have to talk to him to get to the one Geo, Gino Hard, Hard, uh, whatever, Bounty. Oh, more reading. Congratulations on winning the Manon Championship. I do enjoy watching your races, human. It makes me nice. It makes a nice break from the hectic world I must deal with every day in my business. What is your business exactly? My name is Vec. I work for Ithrak Gulbar, a merchant who deals in very rare and expensive art. He serves as the go-between for buyers and sellers throughout the galaxy. I serve as Ithrak's security advisor, a highly demanding job. The fact that Ithrak seems to delight in insulting and berating me makes it even more difficult. Um, yes, I can see how that would be very stressful. You can't even begin to imagine how hard it is dealing with the galaxy's culture elite. They're like spoiled children throwing tantrums whenever they don't get their way. And Ithrak is the worst of them all. You idiot, Vec. How could you be so stupid, Vec? He thinks my job is easy, but I'd like to see where he'd be without me. Um, I'm sorry for that outburst. I come here to relax, but just talking about work is making me tense. So allow me to wish you a civil good day so I can get back to watching the races. Okay. I need to meet with Ithrak Gulder. Can you send that? You need to meet with Ithrak. Forgive my skepticism, but you hardly resemble our typical client. We deal in the kind of prices found in chambers, or kind of pieces found in chambers of a galactic senator. Uh, first persuade. I represent a wealthy buyer from Coruscant. Persuade. I represent an anonymous buyer from Coruscant. Yes, you do have that look about you. The air of one who serves the rich and powerful. Servile, fawning. A look I've seen in my own mirror far too often, sigh. Very well, I'll set up a meeting with my boss. The Sith permit Earthrak to conduct his private business in their non-secured hangar. Go to the docking bays and we'll meet you there. Okay. Alright, the rest of these people are just swoop fans. I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have links to the Republic. What? Whoa. But I didn't even click on you, girl. Sorry, but you're too late to recruit me. I've just hired on with the Sith. Of course, if the Republic has a better offer. Uh, you work for the Sith? No, uh, wait. Yeah. Hey, keep your lectures. The Sith pay well, and they pay up front. That's all I care about. Whatever. Alright. That was a uh, general shop. And Sith base. Okay, so we're done here. Since I'm still alone, we might as well go take care of, um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna return to the Ebon Hawk, cause that'll get me back to the hangar quicker. And... Private hangar. I think the private hangar is the- oh no, it's this guy. He's right here. Oh, he's got assault droids? I better save the game again. Ithrak is waiting for you inside the hangar. As you probably know, there are no security cameras there. The better to conduct our business away from prying eyes. However, before we go in, I'll point out this rather large assault droid standing beside me. I and the droid will both accompany you in to see Ithrak. Just make sure there's no trouble. My business with Ithrak is private. Ithrak is an important man with access to the rich and powerful. He is not about to let himself become an easy target for kidnapping or assassination. When you meet Ithrak, I and the droid will both be there. It is my job to protect my employer, and I intend to do that regardless of my personal feelings towards him. 
personal feelings. Do you mean you don't like Ithrak? Ithrak can be as tem temperamental as his clients. Combine that with his arrogance and, their, and the way he treats his underlings, and you can understand why I might soon consider seeking other employment. But despite all Ithrak's faults, he does pay well, so I serve my employee faithfully for now. What if I gave you 500 credits not to protect him? Or I could force persuade. You should quit on him right now. Leave and find another job. We'll try that. You're, you're right. He's never treated me with the respect I deserve. Yelling at me, insulting me, belittling me. I don't know why I stayed with him as long as I did. Ithrak never appreciated me while I was around, so let's see how he likes dealing with you alone. But before I go, one last warning, human. Whatever your plan for Ithrak is, be careful. I've always suspected he was more than just a simple merchant. I've heard people who cross him are rarely heard from again. I don't want to risk his vengeance, so I'm going to disappear for a long while. Just in case Ithrak gets the better of you in this, you understand. Damn. Goodbye, human, and good luck. Good, I didn't get dark side points for that. Can I reprogram the droid? No. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I only have 12 computers. Oh, it's repair parts. I have 25 repair parts. Hmm. Program the droid to attack Ithrax. Six repair parts. Let's do that. What is this? What's going on here? <laughs> Looks like fish is back on the menu, boys. I got some really bad dark side points for that. on the data pad. Uh, someone has discovered that you are more than you claim to be. Watch your back because, because you know Vec is too incompetent to watch it for you. Wow. Looks like he had a warning, but too bad. Token. Oh right, I got that when I saved the Selketh. Alright. Didn't we? Wait, 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 wait. We didn't even, I didn't even look at the weapon, the Gina Hard and Blaster. Oh wow, it has a plus five attack modifier. That's pretty good, but it only, it's only two to seven damage. I'm pretty sure the, uh, the blasters that I had, I gave to like Karth or T3, they're probably way better than that. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to go talk to Shady Rody and turn this one in, and then we'll go into the Republic base, or embassy or whatever, and we'll continue with the main quest line a little bit. Honestly, I think it's better if we finish up all of this before we continue. Alright, Ithrak Uldar is dead. Yes, I heard you made a rather grisly end. For completing this mission, you have earned another reward. Take these Gina Hardin gloves. You'll find they are very useful in battle. By disposing of Ithrak, you bring yourself even closer to being accepted into the Gino Hardin. But you must complete all your missions before you'll be admitted to our guild. Is there anything else, Mobius? I'm totally gonna have. Oh my god, strength plus four? What? We're gonna use those. Yes, 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 we are. Look at that. Now our strength is 23. What level are we? 16? Oh, Alright, so we just increased our uh, attribute. But when we hit when we hit level 20, we're totally going to give ourselves one more strength and have a plus 7 strength mod? That's crazy! Crazy, I tell you! Or, when we get another feat, 
Wow, constitution plus three implant? That's going to be crazy, too. What's our constitution? 17. So, is our implant now? Constitution plus one. So, it'll increase our constitution by two. It'll have a 19 constitution. So, a plus four. That's pretty crazy. We're pretty beast, guys. Alright. I'm gonna, we should really, like I'm serious, we should finish all of the Geno Hard and stuff before we continue with the main storyline. Because it's a lot of traveling around, guys. So, let's go to Cash, now we'll go to Tatooine and kill the, uh, the Gamorrean first. How's that sound? That sounds great, Mobius. Okay, thank you for agreeing. Why is it always fighters now? Every time I leave a planet, I have to do this mini game. Incoming fighters! Oh my goodness. It sucks with a mouse. It's already been a half hour, so can't go with anybody. Gotta go by myself. Let's kill the uh, Gamorian and then we'll call it a day. Pretty sure I know where to find him too. He's probably out by the Crate Dragon Cave. Guard Billin. Hmm? Oh, it's you again. I'll just let you pass. Good okay. hunting. Thank you. Goodbye. <sighs> it's times like this I miss the Old Republic where I have, you know, like a mount that I can use. This is a lot of running. I guess if I had gone like a force user Jedi, I would have force speed and then like I could use force speed to run across the sand a lot quicker, but force speed or force run or whatever it is, is restricted by armor in this game. So since I went the whole, you know, like defensive heavy 
Jedi Guardian deal, like, I wouldn't be able to use that ability anyway. Oh, those raids are way over there. Raids give pretty good XP. I think this is, it's a couple hundred a kill. Like, 300 or 500 XP a kill, but... So that's almost, that's almost like, at least... 1200 to 2000 XP over there. I really do like playing the Jedi Guardian though in this game just because you're so hard to kill. Like that's why trying to do this as another class might be a little bit more difficult. Like all this this one-on-one -on -one bounty hunting, but like I really have no fear at all doing this as a Jedi Guardian because I know these uh, these bounty targets they they can't they can't even touch me. I don't see a Gamorrean unless he's in the cave. No, that's the star map. Is he really not in here? He's got to be in here. Chewed human corpse. I've looted this before, right? Yeah, I've looted all this stuff. Chewed toilet corpse. Yeah. Oh, whoa! Dude, I just got chills. Where did those guys come from? That's freaky, man. That doesn't look like a Gamorrean. That's Darth Bandit. At last, my search is over. I was beginning to fear someone else had killed you and deprived me of the pleasure. You may have defeated the pathetic bounty hunter my master sent after you, but you are no match for me. I have studied at the foot of the Dark Lord himself. Um, yeah, guess what? I'm by myself, and I'm still going to take all three of you. Uh, you're Malak's apprentice. Can't say I'm impressed. You were on the Endar Spire. You killed Trask. When will Malak learn? I'll kill you just like I killed Kalo Nord. Your words mean nothing to me. Unless you wish to beg for your life. No. Then I shall try to make this both quick and painful. Yeah, guess what? Not gonna happen. Alright, so they got me down to half health, but that's still not bad for a fight that I'm pretty sure- Wow, 3,000 credits, Darth Bandon's fiber armor. I'm pretty sure, like, I was supposed to do that fight in a group, and the fact that I just soloed all three of them. Dude, how many speeder bikes are we gonna leave sitting in front of this cave? I mean, this is getting kinda ridiculous. People are gonna think this crate dragon was a freaking swoop collector. Look at this, it's like a- it's like a- a Goram parking lot out here. And still no, uh... Gamorrean. Like, where is he? What happened to the Gamorrean that was hunting the Great Dragon? I'm gonna have to go talk to somebody about that. Let's see, do we have it in the journal somewhere? Here, you've been instructed to kill a Gamorrean named Vorn Dasrad. Dasrad. He is suspected to be on Tatooine hunting crate dragons. Hulus has warned you to be careful of Vorn's assault droid companion. Hmm. Alright. So, let 
Let's check the Western Dune Sea then. Alright, I mean, there's obviously no one out here, so we may as well go this way. Sand people territory. Could he be out here? Oh, here's an assault droid. Alright, I guess we found him. Good job, guys. the droid. Yeah, we're going to program the droid to seek out and attack Vorn Distraud. And we'll optimize its weaponry. Wow, he actually killed a Kray Dragon? What this? What are you doing? What's going on here? What are you doing with my assault droid? I reprogrammed your droid, Vorn. Turned my own droid against me very clever, but it takes more than rogue assault droid and you to take down Vorn the Sarad. Yeah, I doubt it. Told you, man, you can't touch me. You couldn't touch me. 300 credits and a data pad. What does the data pad say? There is a message on the data pad, though it is unclear if Vorn meant to send it to someone or if it is someone sent to him. The guild is restless. Geno Haradan agents are hunting. Soon they will come for me and possibly for you. When they do, I plan to be ready. Alright, well, guess what? Return to the Ebon Hawk, because we're done. Alright. It's coming up on 45 minutes, so I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Um, but next week, actually, let's travel to Kashyyyk, and then we'll call it there. Next week, we will... Uh, blah, 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 fine, we'll go to Kashyyyk. Okay. Okay.
All right, we've landed on Kashyyyk, and next week we will hunt down this shapeshifter, probably hiding somewhere in the Shadowlands. By ourselves, of course. And then we'll go back to Manon, join the Bounty Hunting Guild for good, and uh, continue on with the main storyline. So, I'm just trying to cover as much ground as I can in one episode. So, this has been Mobius1 here. Thank you guys for watching this less than interesting episode, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.